Hey everybody, Dr. B here. Three reasons why I absolutely need you to go sign up for my free workshop and training. Here is a slightly younger and slightly better looking version of myself to bring you those reasons. I wanna teach you guys the most powerful breathing technique on the planet and you can't learn it anywhere else because I created it. That's right, I took ancient wisdom, combined it with our most advanced science, and I created a technique that's it's literally gonna change everything because your reality is all right here. And this one single breath technique can change your reality. It changes your neurology. It changes you on the level of your DNA. So it only takes two minutes to learn. It is a single breath technique. You don't have to sit on a pillow for 25, 35, 45 minutes. It really only takes one breath breath and I want to teach you that one breath technique. If you're here to watch crack videos because it gives you a peace and tranquility, I want you to know that that peace and tranquility actually exists inside of you already and I want to give you the one breath technique that can help you bring out that peace and tranquility whenever and wherever you want it. So go sign up for the video. Hurry up, go sign up for it right now. I also want to tell you about the 30 day challenge. Look, if you watch these videos because you have back pain and you're 35 years old or less, then it's probably not that complicated. You need my spinal care routine. My spinal care routine will at least reduce your pain, if not completely eliminate it all forever. Okay. And also too, if you're confused about what to eat because half of the internet tells you you should be eating T-bone steaks for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and the other half of the internet tells you you should be eating flowers out of your garden, come to my webinar. I have things I want to share with you. And yeah, diet and exercise and all that. And of course, I want to come like with this intensity because... I want to be on a platform where I don't have to censor myself. And I want to say things that you probably wouldn't expect to hear me say. There's so much more to this webinar. Sign up. Come learn the breathing technique. That's the starting point. Guys, if any of this interests you, you need to sign up right away. There's a link down below in the description, drbrentsays.com, or just go click on the link in the pinned comment or in the description. You need to sign up for this right away because I'm going to let it fly in a way that I've never let it fly before. This is a private workshop, okay? It's a private platform. There's no censorship here. This is the most raw Dr. B that you could possibly get. But I need you to sign up. I'm here to change lives. I'm here to help you. I know not everyone can get on an airplane and fly across the world and get their back cracked, but this is the next best thing. This is all for you guys, but you need to go sign up down below, drbrentsays.com. Click on the link. I look forward to seeing you guys there. Thanks so much. Enjoy this video. Go sign up first though, okay? Bye. Being a bartender eventually after my long shifts, I have back pain. When you have low back pain, what do you, do you typically do anything for it? I try to crack it. You try to crack <laughs> it? Can you crack it successfully? Um, most times, in the morning I can, or I'll try to make my boyfriend like lift me up and okay, crack so it. So do you ever get any headaches? Yeah, um, I get a lot of stress headaches for sure. Once a week, once a month? Ooh, probably once a week. Right, I used well, to take medicine for it, so I stopped it like a year ago because I was tired of taking it. Okay. Um, it wasn't helping? I felt like I was still taking that, and then I had this, I had like dissolvable pills, so like if I could feel it coming on, I would have to take those, and then sometimes I would still take like ibuprofen or Advil, mm -hmm. so I was like, I'm still just loading myself up with pills, so I just stopped. When you get a headache, where on your head does it hurt? Um, either my temples or like right underneath my skull area, like okay. on the top of my neck, I guess. All right, that would be a tension headache. Um, so oh, do you ever get any sensitivity to light? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Any nausea? Yeah, I used to just like lay on the ground. Like my boyfriend multiple times had to like carry me to the bed because I would just be like out of commission. How often does it get that bad? Mm, I'll say like once a month. Ever been to a chiropractor? Nope. How do you feel about it? A little scared. <laughs> Today's sponsor is Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. With over 800 lawyers in 49 states, and the best part is, if you don't get paid, they don't get paid. So whether you're hurt in a car, or at home, or even at work, Morgan & Morgan is going to fight for you. They're gonna fly lawyers in jets and have a meeting about how good they are and how big they're getting. So if your arm's in a sling, you're one free phone call away from their customer care operators. Morgan & Morgan, a law firm for the people. Over 3 million people have already trusted Morgan & Morgan, and it's easy to get started. You can check out the link below for more information. Okay, looking at the feet first, heel strike, mid stance, and toe off. Looks symmetrical and even. Go all the way down to the water. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay, good. I want to I say I see a little bit of pronation on the right side, but it's slight. 
Okay, looking at the knee down, I don't see any genuvalgum, no genuvarum. That's good. Nice and straight lower extremity. Good. Okay, looking at the hip sway, we're accentuated to the left, and I see a possible high left hip and more restricted moving to the right. Good, coming back this way. Looking at the shoulder height, looks like we have a high right shoulder, and high right shoulder would match a high left hip. Okay, high good. right shoulder, and then there's a left lateral flexion, a head tilt to the left, which means a high right mastoid process. Okay, nice and gentle. I'm going to do a scan down the middle of your spine here. We're just going to test the very top layer. You have a lot of tension up here, especially on the left side, upper thoracic, upper shoulder blade. I'm going to do a temperature evaluation with the back of my fingers. The back of the fingers are more sensitive to temperature. Yeah, we're definitely working hard up in the shoulder blade area. These muscles down here, nice, calm, cool, symmetrical, good tone all the way down. But then as soon as we get up here, much more here. This is the hottest point. These muscles are working the hardest. Moving through here, it's still hot, both sides. Good, and then it kind of cools off right here at the bottom of the shoulder blade. Good, nice and even all the way down. Okay, I'm gonna palpate the SI joints. So we're gonna look for tenderness here. This is the upper SI joint on the left. Do you have any tenderness here? That guy right there, no, that's good. It's good. Okay, lower left SI. A little more tender oh, there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, lower right, do you, does it feel like that over here? No. Upper right, any tension here? No. Okay, so a little bit of left lower tenderness. I'm gonna push into the spine a little bit deeper now on the top. Tender or ticklish? <laughs> no, tender. <laughs> tender? Yeah. Good. Upper left and mid left tenderness. A little bit of rhomboid tension here, right shoulder blade. Same side, so it was this left side. There. And then there's a little bit more tension in the right upper one. That one tender too? Yeah. Which one's more tender, this one or that I one? I think left. That one. <laughs> And then that was the same location there on the left and the right. But which is more tender, left, left. <laughs> or right? Okay, you're right-handed? Yeah. Okay, it's okay to have a little bit more tension on the left, but, you, the, but this tenderness at these two segments right there is pointing us in the right direction. <laughs> Good lumbar spine. Both sides at about, let's see here, this is L3. At about L2, L1, L2. There's just a little bit more tension. Get nice and loose. Let your hips loose. Good. And I can see as I'm as we're doing this, the more I poke it and the more that you react to it, you're just you want to lean to the left. That's what created that high right shoulder in the hallway. your chin to your chest. Okay, not a lot of movement at C5 there. Let's test C5 this way. Bring your ear to your shoulder. Okay, definitely, do you feel a restriction going this way versus this way? To the left. To the <laughs> left? Yeah. <laughs> and then when you feel the restriction here, where do you feel it in your neck? Over here. Do it on the right side. And so we have chronic lengthening of that muscle. It's tender. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, trap fibers. 
Yeah, a little bit of tension in the medial trap fibers. Here's levator scapula right here. Feel all that crunchy right there? Yeah. <laughs> That's crunchy. Good rhomboid tension more so on the right. Trap tension is about even. A little bit of levator scapula on the left. Okay, so I'm going to look at your pelvis now. This helps us determine which way it's rotated, okay? okay. All right, so looking from the bottom, looking at the bottom of the glute folds right here, they're pretty close to even. We're just slightly lower on the right, which means the right hip is back like this. And then looking from the top, the right glute is out like this, which means it's rotated like this, or the left one's in. So it's either back and out or front and in. We'll look at your laying down forward to see which one is okay. uh, more accurate. <laughs> Stand up nice and straight, close your eyes. Kind of almost goes in every single direction. Front to back, front to back, but mostly steady. Okay, you can open your eyes. Okay, that tells us if you have any hypermobility or any like excessive motion in your pelvis. Um, you can crack your own back, so there's a possibility there. This one suggests that maybe a little bit, mm -hmm. but it's slight. I'll know more once I adjust you. Okay. Okay. Right short stays short. That points to the left SI, which is where we had that tenderness. Let's check that again. I'm going to check the SI joint here. Tenderness? Yeah. Okay, that's the upper, lower tenderness? Yeah. More at the lower or upper? Lower. Right side? Yeah. That's the, that's, this is actually the outside of the joint here. Let's go to the inside of the joint. Any tenderness there? No. Right side here? A little bit. A little bit. Good. Down. Left hip up, good, down. Okay, nice, gentle breathing. Just let yourself sink into the table. We're gonna work with some of this tension out. I'm going to push on this just a little harder. We're going to take a deep breath in. Same thing on the left. Deep breath. How's that? Hi.
How's our pressure, okay? Okay, nice, simple breathing, little stretch. Okay, so we're gonna start with this one in the middle. Okay, just like before, you're gonna take some deep breaths. Let's practice it first, so take a deep breath. And then as you breathe out, I'm gonna follow your breath with my hands like this. And then at the end of your breath, we just do a little bit more of a push, okay? Okay. It's not too much of more of a push. It's not gonna hurt, okay? Okay. All right, let's give it a try. I'm gonna do this as gentle as possible. Okay. Okay, breathing in through your nose. Good, out through your nose. Good, we're gonna do the same thing. We'll follow the next breath down. Good, same thing. Deep breath in through your nose. And out through your nose, let your shoulders sink. Good, let it all go. Gentle. Oh my God, that's so weird. <laughs> Shoulders relax as you breathe out. Good, let it go, let your back go. I'm gonna remove the blocks. So keeping your knees straight, lift this right leg in the air. Good, down, good, left, down. Do the left again, okay, down. Okay, right lumbar is firing. This is how we adjust the low back, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna bend the top leg like this, bottom leg stays straight, good. We're gonna pull this forward just a little bit like that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna stretch your shoulders in this direction like that and your hips down like this. Mm -hmm. Then when we get to the end, we're gonna push in that direction, okay? Okay, okay nice and gentle breathing in through your nose. Get out through your mouth. Good, sinking and let the shoulders go, let the hips go, good. Good, let it go. Good. Yo. Can I on your back? <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> now when you crack your own back, does it feel like that? No. <laughs> You're breathing in through your nose. Good, and then out. Good, let your shoulders come up just a little bit. And the hips come down. There's more, hold on. Good, good, let the shoulder go, let the hip go, good. Lay on your back. Bring your head to the right. Okay, back to center. Good. Turn your head to the left. Back to center. Good. Bring your right ear down to your shoulder. Back to center. Left ear. Center. You said you're right handed, right? Mm -hmm. You got a lefty neck. Nice, gentle breathing.
Okay, nice and gentle, just like the other adjustments. All we're doing is breathing. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna bring you over to the side. Try not to help me. I'm gonna bring you over to here. And then following your breath like this. We're just gonna come through nice and gentle. And then as you're breathing, we're gonna push a little bit further, okay? Okay, you're doing great. You're nice and relaxed right now. You're perfect. So all you have to do is breathe. Good, you can close your eyes. There's nothing to look at here. Nice and gentle breathing, sinking in. Good, we're gonna come way up at the top here, good. Okay, breathing in through your nose. Good, and out through your nose, and let your whole body sink, let your head drop into the table. Very good. Oh. <laughs> Pretty good, right? That's loud. <laughs> C2 on the right. Okay, so you're doing good breathing. All you have to do is breathe. We're following the breath. Good, here's two right here. Good, now let your head drop in. Very nice. How's that? Good. <laughs> Let your leg relax. Good. Good. Let your leg relax. Let your leg relax. I'm really bad at that. Ah, that's okay. You're fine. Okay, hold your knees together as hard as you can. Hold them together. I'm gonna pull it apart. Hold hard as you can. Hard as you can. Okay. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Digestion, okay. First we start with the ileocecal valve. This is where the large and, uh, and small intestine meet, come mm -hmm. together. There's a valve here. We locate it first by finding your belly button. Yours is there and your ASIS here. Okay, we connect these two points. This is where we start looking for the ileocecal valve. You're tight here. This is tight. Not just like, <laughs> like this is like intestinal. How's your digestion? Probably could be better. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna, we'll get there. Okay, it's tender? Yeah. Okay, a little bit of tender is okay. Good, it's also active right now, so you ate some breakfast this morning? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> okay, next is the pyloric sphincter. This is where the stomach comes down into the intestine. That's so weird. Okay, good release there. Okay, now I'm gonna do a diaphragm manipulation. So we start here on the le on the right side. Okay, deep breath into your belly. Ticklish? It's, yeah, I don't, it's yeah. bizarre. <laughs> Put your hand on my hand, that makes it a little less ticklish. Okay, so do you know how to belly breathe? So when you breathe, so push your belly all the way out. Good, and I'll suck it all the way back in. No, just your belly. Like, just move oh. your belly. Ready? Push your belly out. <laughs> Good. Now bring your belly in. Okay, now breathe in and push your belly out. Now breathe out and suck your belly in. Good. Breathe in, push your belly out. Breathe out, push your belly in. Good. In. And up. Keep going in.
All right, so. Oh, wow. This is a full spine adjustment. <laughs> so your hips are held in place by the pins, just like that. Your arms are good there. I'm gonna use this towel to support your neck. Are you okay with that? Yep. Okay, we're gonna go like this. Nice and gentle breathing, just like the other adjustments. This won't hurt. As you breathe out, we're gonna follow your breath in this direction, and then we're gonna go like that at the end, okay? okay. All you have to do is sink in shoulders, hips, breath in through your nose, and uh, you can close your eyes. <laughs> that was huge. Did you feel it all the way down? I could feel it on my spine. Yeah. That's just weird. At the bottom? Yeah. Ooh. Good reflexes. Not too crazy, right? No, but wow. <laughs> Yeah, intense, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's the word. You can feel it all the way down. Yeah. The like middle of your spine. There's nothing else in the world that creates that same sensation. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Not bad though, right? Pretty good? Yeah. <laughs> I feel loose. <laughs> no, that's so weird. Like, you got so much crack out of it. <laughs> I don't know. It's like I feel light up here now. It's yeah. weird. <laughs> I never knew that I felt, per se, heavy. But now that I feel light, it makes sense. <laughs> First experience getting cracked, and it won't be my last. Good. That's kind of good. Lean back just a little bit and let the shoulder go. Oh my god. Let's go lean back a little bit. Oh. What? <laughs> Good. You got the same thing. Deep breath in through your nose. <laughs> and 
out through your nose. Let your shoulders sink. Very nice. And then breathe out. Good, let it go, let your back go. Nice and gentle. Let it go. Good. Very good. Oh, good.